beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to that. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed Are you blessing him? Go ahead. All those following us online, bless him. Scattered around this nation and the nations of the world, bless him. I just want you to sing that part of the song that says the words you speak can turn things around. The word you speak can things around. Your arms reach out as me. Father, tonight is my night of testimony. Lift your voice and pray. Tonight must be my night of testimony. I place a demand on your grace. I place a demand on your wisdom. I place a demand on your ability. Are you praying? Tonight must be my night of dramatic testimony. The words that you speak can turn things around. I trust you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Like you to walk up to two or three people and tell them your life is about to change dramatically. Prophesy. Outside, make sure you participate. Those online, participate. Your life is about to change dramatically. Say it like you're not joking. Your life is about to change dramatically. 
Hallelujah. Please be seated. God bless you. Good evening, everyone. Amen. Welcome to our miracle service. This is miracle service for September. And prophetically and very strangely, we're doing it in October. When God begins to move like this, it's important that our spirits are open to discern what it is that he's saying. There are no mistakes with him. It is only when our perceptions are not clear enough to receive. It may look like a coincidence, but in every working of God, there is wisdom. Hallelujah. So I welcome every one of us, those inside, outside. Thank you so much for coming. Those who have come from far, you will never be disappointed. And all those following us online, on all our media platforms we welcome you you're part of us let your heart be open in the name of jesus pay attention to the word oftentimes when people come um they just want to begin to see manifestation prophecy and so on and so forth but every time you come before god it's important that you listen to the word the bible says they came to jesus to hear and be healed to hear and be healed it's only a herbalist who constructs charms and doesn't care whether or not you are participating in the process. At the end of it, he hands you a leaf with substances and says, go, it is done. But with God, there must be participation. I want to charge us very briefly before we begin to pray. There's a lot that God will do tonight. And um, I want us to conserve time. I'm seeing how that we can finish on time. In fact, much more than we have we have been doing in the miracle services and I ask God for grace and so his grace is sufficient for us tonight. Amen. I trust God for a very quick walk and please let's cooperate with what he wants to do so that we can live here on time. Praise God. I want to speak um, very briefly to encourage our hearts and to remind us on the integrity of God's word. The integrity, the dependability the reliability of God's word. When it comes to exploits in the kingdom, please listen. The principal channel, listen to me please. The principal channel for receiving the miraculous is faith. The principal channel for participating in the miraculous is faith are we together now and your faith is inactive until the word of god brings it alive and so i want you to please pay attention there are so many believers who expect god to step in and bring healing miracles i was so touched whilst the testimonies were being shared and um but then not surprised only grateful i would be surprised if i were the doer are we together the integrity of god's word the bible has this to say it says heaven and earth listen shall pass away heaven and earth shall pass away you know why they will pass away because the word created them both are we together heaven and earth shall pass away but the word of the Lord abides forever. The principal channel for committing God to perform in your life is the word of God. Please listen. The principal channel for committing God is not your tears. Your tears move God, but they cannot commit him. Your lamentation can move God. The Bible says, for we do not have a high priest who has not been touched with the feelings of our infirmity but being touched is not the same as responding to it the only channel that can commit God's integrity to bring him to the scene to perform on your behalf is the word of God I need you to understand this not a man of God he may only be a vehicle but the principal channel for committing God is the word of God Whenever we talk about faith, it is simply the vehicle that gives the word of God expression. 
and i'll just charge us a little it's important for us to know that the word of god can be trusted the scripture that we read this bible look up please this bible that we read the bible says it was inspired of the holy ghost are we together holy men wrote it as they were moved by the spirit so regardless of the imperfection of the translators regardless of the imperfection of the writers the sovereignty of god still vetoes their imperfection and makes this word capable of producing results when believed and acted upon are we together your faith every time in scripture jesus would challenge the faith of the recipients jesus never told anyone you have asked a hard thing it was elijah who told his son in the gospel you have asked a hard thing it is possible but jesus will only ask them believers down thy faith has given this to you let me give you a very interesting definition of faith that i got from bishop oedipo and uh, this this is one of his most recent definitions and it is absolutely powerful this is what he said faith is sharing responsibilities with god in the light of his word so as to get your desired result faith is sharing responsibilities with god as defined or in the light of his word so as to get your desired result shared responsibility shared responsibility there is a path to your miracle listen please that depends on god that is exclusively left to his wisdom and power and sovereignty but there is a path to the delivery and the manifestation of your miracle that depends on an operation you must do so many believers want to receive from god listen please we come to god but we approach god as though approaching an idol hoping that he will perform some magic no there are spiritual dynamics to reception your faith your faith your faith your faith we have a series on that and we're going to start that series next week i'm going to be sharing with you some deep dynamics about faith because it's important for us to get results results are predictable say it after me one more time results are predictable there is there is a there is a technology there is a system of predictability to results that's why we're gathered here tonight we're not gathered to some kind of haphazard trial and error I know you will be blessed I know you will be healed it's not pride it's the truth there is a formula for this I know your life will change I know that demon will live your life forever I know you will walk out of here with breakthrough that will bring tears to your eyes but there is a system there is a system please brothers and sisters imagine imagine for one minute that you go to the hospital listen you go to the hospital with your pregnant wife about to give birth and the doctor tells you that look this name doctor is just there oh, let me just confess i'm not exactly sure let's trust god and see what will happen and your wife is crying and saying i'm losing my life how would you love such a doctor and you ask him who gave you that title that you put in front of your name because the title is an implication hmm. are we together the title is an implication the title means you were certified the title means you went through rigorous seasons that trained your mind to be intelligent on that wise now that's when when god names a meeting it's an implication if he calls it a miracle service it means he sat down and searched within himself if he had the power to back up that name god never speaks until he looks at himself and finds out whether it is within his ability to back up what he has said if he called it a miracle service 
then that is a miracle service indeed. It has never been about the inability of God to step into people's lives. Please listen. There is no case represented here today that is above and beyond the power of God to step in. No, you would be lying. Are we together? You know, sometimes the mountains that stand before us, and trust me, I'm human. There are mountains that can stand before people. But you see, that mountain remains only as big as your inability to trust God makes it look. There are mountains. It says time will fail me to talk of Gideon and Jephthah and Barak. Men who through faith subdued kingdoms. Not cities, kingdoms. So the foundation, the foundation, please listen. The foundation for biblical faith is an encounter with the word of God. You must find out what he has said about the issue of concern. That is step one to commit him. More on that during the faith series. But it is important. You have no right to lay any claims on anything you have not searched out. Because God limits himself to the provisions that his word can afford. Hear me. Whatever the word of God can afford, God can provide it. Did you hear me? Whatever the word of God can afford, God can pay for it. Hmm. Whatever the word of God can afford, it is within the sovereign power of God to pay for it. Your first assignment is to find out. I've been barren for eight years. They said I have no fallopian tube. Thank you doctors but they are practicing. And you come to the word of God. And check. And then the Bible says your marriage shall be a blessing. It says your children, not even a child, surround your table. Now the next thing is whose report will you believe? Are we together? The trouble is, we do not meditate on the word to a point of restful persuasion. Restful persuasion. But I know whom I have believed. And I am persuaded. You don't read the Bible like a novel. No, the entrance of your word. Eventually, as you pay attention to the word, let me tell you, I know what I'm saying. Believe me. When you study scripture with all your heart, an activity of the Holy Ghost begins to happen from those letters through your eyes into your spirit. From those letters through your eyes, through your ears into your spirit. It says so then faith comes by hearing and understanding by the word of God. It's not just hearing. It's not just seeing. When you discover the promises, the prophecies, the provision, your next assignment is to meditate upon the word to get to a point of restful persuasion. Persuasion that says, if I perish, I perish, but I found it. I found my bailout. I found it. Oh, they say I must uh, this and that and that and that. I cannot have a child. I've tried. I've been having miscarriages. Oh, men of God have prayed for me. They are not herbalists. Get to the word. Get to the word. Father, this is your word. I commit you. Prophet Isaiah in chapter 38, moved by the Holy Ghost, went to Hezekiah and said, put your house in order. You will not recover from this sickness. Isaiah was a major prophet. When a major man of God with a track record speaks to you, it's almost like a done deal. But a man used the word of God to change prophecy. Ah, the words you speak turn things. Help me. That the word of God can veto any prophecy, any enchantment, any pronouncement. Yes, they said it, but I change it. 
Yes, they said everybody in my family is SS, but I found a provision. There is a bailout mystery. I can't die AS. I can't die SS. It is within my power to change it. Let me tell you, there is nobody that prophesies a nonsense destiny to me. I have worked with God enough to know that the keys are in the hands of a man. Hezekiah turned his face and said, Oh God, remember my sacrifices. Is it not your word that, 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 that says how that they that give you no know, paraphrasing that he will remember you in the day of trouble and remember your sacrifice. I have given to your house. Why should I die like a chicken? No assumption. You must bring your strong reasons. No assumption. You assume you will die like a chicken. You must bring your, your strong reason. Don't say even God knows. As I hear you say, as I hear you say, many believers want things to happen let me tell you something faith is hard work are you hearing what i'm saying you've got to find it and sit down until the word of god superimposes your doubt i know there is a rent of five hundred thousand to pay the rent is not in the spirit the landlord is alive i know i know statistics says that there are no jobs in nigeria I know there is recession in Nigeria but when you find it in the word now listen when you find it in the word and meditate let me tell you what meditation does here's how you know you are finished meditating you are finished meditating the moment you discover your role when you discover the part you have to play you are finished your meditation you meditate until you find it good master what shall i do to inherit eternal life not will you give me what is my part good master what is my part lord what is my part to be healed oh god will you heal me that's wrong prayer that's immature spiritual communication what is my role it is within your power good master what shall i do to inherit eternal life and jesus didn't say no 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 eternal life is cheap no as cheap as salvation is there is still a role you have to play are we together it says the word is nigh thee in thy heart and in thy mouth even the word of faith which we preach right that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the lord jesus romans chapter 10 from verse 8 to 10 he says and believe with thy heart that god raised him from the dead he said thou shalt be saved for with the heart, it says, man believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto soteria, salvation. Not just new birth, unto health, unto everything. Hallelujah. Your meditation has not finished. If you cannot leave that place knowing you're part of the deal. There must be your commitment. Oh Lord, what is the secret to end circles of failure? It's like as soon as I'm recovering from one, I'm finding another. And then you search in God's word. Who suffered like me? What is the key? Lord, nothing is working in my life. No job, no marriage, no money, no peace. What should I do? Oh, there are enemies in my life. How do I deal with them? I've prayed. And then the Holy Ghost takes you to Psalms 149. Let the high praise of God be in their lips and a double-edged sword in their hands to execute vengeance upon their nobles and to bind their kings with the fetters of iron. To execute upon them the judgment that is written. It says this honor has all the saints. Ah, so my praise is a weapon of warfare. This is my own part. You shut your door. And you begin to praise God like a madman. And when you praise God like a madman, all of a sudden, you put pressure on his integrity the moment you act. Let me tell you, God is not committed to delivering any promise in your life if you have not acted upon it. Having the readiness to judge all disobedience when your obedience is complete. Praise the Lord. 
So what is your part tonight? Number one, your part is to believe God. Your part is to believe God. Don't allow science, medicine, the intellect to bring you to a point where you now start calculating and say, okay, now let's be real. I know that I have a fibroid. I touched it and I felt it. Is it really going to disappear? And you now begin to think. The question you have to think is, how did it come? Were you born with it? Did you swallow it and it went there? So how did it come? You never question how it grew to be that big. But now you are questioning how it will, be shrink, how it will shrink and disappear. We have been trained in an environment that stimulates unbelief. You mean I can complete that house by the end of the year? Haba, this is October. We've not even gotten to Lintel level. The last person who would have blessed me just said, Guy, Nigeria is hot. Hot for who? Don't, don't generalize this thing. Let's be sincere enough. Persuasion. I believe God. Oh. I believe God. That's why we're ministering. Listen, when you find what God has said, commit him. Throw away your ego. Throw away your fears and commit God. The Bible says, listen, listen to what it says. It says, in my name, they shall cast out devils. That's what we are going to do shortly. He said it. We believe it. And so we have the effrontery to gather you. And to release a platform for the world to listen. And we give them an assurance Based on what? Based on his integrity. That's why we have a worship team. What's the assignment? To create the atmosphere for his presence to make manifest. Because when his presence is here, then we know that we have committed him. Brothers and sisters, I want you to come to a point of restful assurance. Throw away that doubt. You know, some of you hear what I'm saying. And most people, when they hear preachers talking like this, they look at their dressing, they look at everything and say it's not your fault. It's because you are enjoying. As if the person was born like that. Apostle, it's because you don't know the fire that drove me from home to come here. Believe me, I don't care what it is. If God cannot solve your problem, then we have found a reason for him to not be God but i believe god previous miracle services it did not happen another word for faith is persistence another word for faith is persistence you will never never stop persisting and claim you have faith no sir elijah prayed and asked his servant go and check he said there's nothing he would have said ah uh -uh, god I called down fire once. What is this one? Is it that I'm backsliding? He didn't even have time to ask that question. Restful assurance. He went back to pray. Seven times. And he saw the cloud like the feast of a man. And he told Ahab. He said, saddle your ass and run. I hear the sound of the abundance of rain. There are people here tonight. Trusting God for miracles. In your body there are people here who do not even know what is wrong with their situation you are welcome who else will you run to let me just say something when I was when I was meditating and preparing this little exhortation the Lord said the following things to me and I just want us to write it down just three of them quickly number one your action commits my integrity your action not your conviction your action your action at the point of action that's when my integrity is committed so you can believe and not see results faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction faith is not the conviction the conviction leads to faith faith is the action are we together yeah so I look at Pastor Femi for instance. Come Femi. I look at Pastor Femi for instance. And let's assume he's trusting God to heal him. 
maybe of chest pain. Look at this. Now he comes out and hands are laid on him. And he just looks and he's angry at the next person because he's saying you did allow them lay hands very well. It's not the it's not how much hands are laid on you. You see, somehow we have this understanding. You can say, I have chest pain, and just a touch, and then they go and, and you are wondering, ah, ah, you would have stayed and touched and gone around and done this. Now, your mind thinks because time is being spent on you, it means God is saying something. No, no. The miracle, listen, the miracle is in your faith. It happens at the speed of faith. It happens at the speed of faith. This guy can have all kinds of tumors and just a touch. In fact, sometimes it may not even be a touch just your faith like there are people now already who are healed they don't know it's just because you can't go to the hospital it says and as they spake as peter spake these words unto them the holy ghost fell on all day that had him thank you thank you very much are we together it's your faith don't come here and be careless and just sit down no Assuming there's somebody you brought here, for instance, who was who is deaf, maybe on one ear or both ears, and now it's time to pray. And as we are praying, and you're just standing, you're watching the person. Oh, in the name of Jesus, if there's any deaf person here, be healed. And you look at him, and you're wondering, ah, this guy, let me concentrate on myself. That guy will never be healed. He's going to go out like that. Because number one, you are embarrassed. To take an action step because you don't want to put your hands in his ears and inform him and say they're about to pray I'll check you your ego is telling you guy don't do this if you put your hands on his ears and you pray and you check him if it doesn't happen you will turn with your shame and hold him there that's exactly why the person will walk back and not be healed are we together they mention is a case and it looks like an embarrassing case you've been healed Go and check yourself and you are wondering. You are sitting down there and wasting your time. And then you run later after service. And you come and say, Jimmy, sorry, oh, don't be embarrassed. Do you know that when you were mentioning somebody with pile, it's me, oh, I, I, you saw me, Abby? Just quickly pray for me. You are joking. Because you see, the result is waiting for action immediately. Please, get this thing. The Lord told me this that I should tell us. Your action commits my integrity. As they went, he said, go and show yourself to the priest. As they went, as they went, as they went. The woman said to herself with the issue of blood, if I may but touch the hem of his garment. Do you know if she just stopped there talking with herself, she would have gone back home with her issue of blood. But then after speaking, she still pressed. At the point she did it, there was a miracle. Number two, this is the second thing God told me and I don't want to believe this applies to koinonia. Let me be wrong at least. But I don't want to believe this applies to koinonia. But I believe this applies to other people. This is what God told me. Stop mixing God and any other God like traditional gods, native doctors, that's why I say I don't believe this applies to Koinonia. But I think that this is the unbecoming of the church in Africa. On Sunday, you are with God. Are we together? On Monday or Tuesday, you now quickly run to your village. And they tell you there's somebody. The guy is not exactly a herbalist. He's not exactly a pastor. He just has this gift. You cannot mix. Let me tell you something God has said. Give us Psalm 16. Psalm 16 verse 4 give us verse 4 psalm 16 verse 4 i want you to read the a part one to read their sorrows shall be multiplied that do what that hasten after another god that's what i was looking for what will happen to them their sorrow it will look let me tell you please hear me i've never gone to a herbalist but i've ministered to plenty of people who have gone to them you will never get a sustainable result from a herbalist but it's my father that said we should go as a family 
Well, I know that there is a limit to which you can control that. But I'm telling you, you can insist and refuse. The Bible says there are sorrows. I know what I'm saying. In Africa, many people will say, oh, these people, they are just young people. They don't know what they are saying. The Bible says there are sorrows shall be multiplied. That do what? That hasten after another God. So you have something he tells you to put in your pocket before you sleep. I don't care whether they ask you to read Psalm 1 or read Psalm 100. For as long as there is a genie and a charm in your pocket and you put all kinds of things and you have to get up, do something demonic, the man is telling you, go and buy a goat. Are we together? You buy a goat, they slaughter it, they turn the blood and they say it's done. Just be praying. Just because he said just be praying does not mean it was of God. Amen. I have discovered, let me tell you something. I have discovered that most people run to God as a last resort. You go to a doctor. If a doctor does not work, then maybe you go to a few men of God here and there. After they all jump and gyrate and nothing happens, somebody will just tell you, sorry, I wanted to advise you, but... You know, I don't want you to think I'm a bad person. But if you are serious, I can take you somewhere. You see yourself going to Zaria City. I said, don't be afraid though. That's how the man's face is. That, run away. Run. That's how it is. You go there. The, before any discussion, you are dropping consultancy fee. You know, I've told you here, Koinonia, hear me. Money and miracles don't go hand in hand. Bring money. Let me pray for you. You can sow a seed expecting a miracle. You can be challenged to commit yourself. But where somebody says the price for this pregnancy is 25,000 and I'm just doing it for you and your wife. If you ever get pregnant, it was the mercy of God. Remember when the gentleman saw the apostle with the power to lay hands on the sick and he offered money. What did he tell him? He said, your money perish with you for you think you will buy the gift of God. It's not for sale. It's priceless. So stop mixing God and witch doctors. You cannot mix God and witch doctor. Are we together? If you depend on God, depend on him. If you depend on a herbalist, depend on him. But don't mix them. You know, one time I was counseling a very dear, a dear lady who, now this is by no means being sarcastic on any family. But I was counseling a lady who told me that she went somewhere and they gave her razor to eat. Razor. And to her shock, it didn't injure her razor like sharp razor you bring out gillette razor and now open your mouth throw it in she was scared to death but i tell you she broke that thing finished it and swallowed it no sign of blood they are mediums right they are mediums i can guarantee you that lady's life will never be the same from that day now the challenge with these kind of people is they just come and say ah now i will never be involved in those kind of things again lord my hands are washed they think that's all to it they think they are free so somebody says i want to get married to you two weeks he says i don't know what is wrong but the day i said i'll get married to you somebody warned me and say if i catch you near my wife again so the person gets up and says i don't want trouble and before you know it the lady is 40, 41, no marriage. She loves God. She's serious. Are we together now? But she believes that everything is all. No, it's not just like that. Though. That's why God puts meetings like this to set people free. I don't know what your challenge is tonight. But I want you to know that the God of all flesh is in this place. Tonight will be a night... The Lord spoke to me and I said it to us that it will be a night of massive freedom and deliverance. There are, there are people, honestly, 
we are going to stay on this thing and force some spirits to get out of the lives of people. I learned early in life that spirits are behind the sufferings of people. Never confuse physical conditions with the influences of spirit. They may manifest as different things, but I give you a guarantee there are spirits behind them. You are not just being hated for nothing. You are only one out of seven billion people. What makes people hate you? Everywhere you go, they hate you. There is a spirit. It says, for as a body without a spirit is dead. There must be a spiritual cause for that physical problem. And tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ, whatever will not let you go must leave you. There are people carrying all kinds of plagues of bad luck and disfavor. Hear me as I'm speaking to you. Do you know it's not everybody you see suffering that is lazy or bad or unserious. There are well-meaning people. But these powers just sit on your destiny and say we will not go. Because it does not take discussion. It takes the power of God to put them where they belong. Are we together? There are some of us who have never experienced the favor of God. You have had it in the lives of people. You have clapped for other people, but you've not seen it in your life. If your uncle or your father or your mother is not there to help you, you think you are finished. Because in your mind, every time you are praying and say, God, visit me, what you mean is, please, oh God, help Ejimi to be the one to visit me. But when that favor is on your life and those demons clear off the way, you'll be surprised. Hear people saying three jobs. Three jobs waiting for someone at this time. Now the question I want to ask you before we pray is you came with a challenge but do you believe? Do you believe that God can give you a testimony? That's my first question. No, 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 no. Don't answer me. Do you believe? Please, don't, 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 don't just assume you know what I'm saying. I'm speaking from my heart. You're seated outside. You're seated in the overflow. You are following online. Maybe in another nation or in another place. Do you believe that God can step in? That's number one. Number two, do you believe that God can step in now? It's one thing to believe God will step in. But do you believe God can step in now? Or are you saying, oh God, my eyes cannot see well. But even if it's one that starts seeing, I'm grateful. You see, it looks like it's faith, but it's not faith. It's just an advanced form of unbelief. Lord, I hold on to you. I don't know what you will do with me tonight, but I believe you. And every instruction that comes, I believe. Are we together? When prayers, when we're about to pray, and we tell you every spirit that is disturbing anybody you don't just stand and, and you are waiting for somebody to be shouting and falling or you are waiting for yourself to fall no your heart is open you are praying time to release your prayer request you don't just tell the ushers let me drop my own and you drop it as if it's no you are dropping it and waving it goodbye and saying i dropped it because you will never return to me Listen, there is an attitude. The miracle is in the attitude. Not just in the act, the attitude. Lord, as I drop this request, I wave you goodbye. I cannot drop it and write it again next year. Next, next, next month. Are we together? You are coming here trusting God for an impartation and an anointing. You don't sit down carelessly. You are listening carefully. As the word of God is coming, your spirit is open. And that you believe that by the time the grace is shared, I'm walking out of here a different person. Are we together? You came here sick. Oh God, this sickness. I've been praying about it, but today, let me tell you, do you know you can decide the day of your miracle? Mm -hmm. The woman with the issue of blood said today, Jacob held on to the angel, right? And said, I won't let you go. He would have let him go and say, okay, the next time you come, just inform me. You can make it today. When I was praying for this meeting, I said, God, I have one request. Please, let everyone that comes here believing return with a testimony. That was my prayer for you. 
I've done my own part and the grace, the grace to produce the miracle you need by the grace of God is available. The mercy of God is here to help you. Your part is to believe God enough and respond in faith. Are we together? Every part of the meeting, God is going to do a quick work right now. But I want you to believe. Please be tired of where you are. Oh God, from January till now, I've not moved forward. I have to be sincere with myself. Give me an encounter that by now, between now and October miracle service, let me return with tears of joy in my eyes. There are two kinds of tears a man can cry. Tears of sorrow and tears of joy. It says you have turned my morning into dancing. Everything I'm telling you to do is what I'm doing myself. Don't think I just came here empty-handed. I came here with my heart full of expectation. I mentioned my own request before God and cried my heart to him. So I, I'm only a vessel, but I'm also a benefactor. Because by and large, I will still listen to this message and I will receive every prophetic word. The trouble with us is you may think I'm a worker. Oh, I'm, I'm protocol, I'm media, I am a minister, I am this and not receive. You see how the leaders in this house, whenever they are here, they forget about anything and everybody's heart is open. That's, that's the attitude. Are we together? Don't sit down arguing and say, Madam, how are you? How do you feel? That's not your business. Focus on what God is doing and insist. The devil, in these kinds of meetings, hear me, Satan waits strategically for those whose hearts will not listen to the word. They are the kinds who will go back and their situations will be worse than it is because you see, when these demons and these spirits leave, they have to search for a life for continuity. And you can't stand neutral. There are others who come here. There are probably people sitting inside and outside. You were invited, but your heart is already here, cynical. Will God really bless them? All these men of God serve and all this, their nonsense talk. You see, that kind of attitude will not give you a miracle. Don't come to God passively. You must come to him intentionally. Are we together? How many of us are ready to walk out of here with a real miracle? How many of us believe there is a place in the word of God for your case? You believe your case is not new. There is a place for the word of God. How many of you believe that it is within the power of God to wipe your tears and give you a testimony? And how many of you are ready to place a demand by faith? Please jump up on your feet and begin to pray. Rise up on your feet and begin to pray. Lord, I place a demand. Lord, I place a demand. Lord, I place a demand. Whether you are inside, outside, I place a demand. Online, I place a demand. On your integrity, I place a demand. On your favor, I place a demand. On your wisdom, I place a demand. Are you praying? Sheke pakata barata kata di bata. Shem proto sobari kata. Lord, I've been doing ministry with no anointing. I've been struggling in ministry, but I place a demand that I will encounter something, an unction, a grace that will change my life. Lord, my business has refused to grow. Everything I've tried to do is not working. But tonight, I place a demand. Lord, I'm tired of this genotype issue. I'm tired of this genotype issue. Lord, I'm tired of this barrenness issue. I'm tired of high blood pressure. I'm tired of pile. I'm tired of eye problems. of using crutches I'm tired of poverty living from hand to mouth I'm tired of failure tired of defeat change my story 
Change my story. Change my story. Hallelujah. Listen. Hallelujah. I want you to take two minutes. You are going to cry for your family. And say Lord as I stand here I represent an altar. It's not just me alone. The angel of your presence must enter my house tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Pray, pray, pray. Oh God of heaven. Step into my family. Step into my family. End that cause. End that bondage. The plague of death in my family. Bring it to an end. The plague of hardship. Nobody has a job in my family. End it all oh God. Nobody is get fully employed. Nobody is born again aside from me. Step in, oh God. Step in, oh God. Nobody is making progress. People are just getting old. Nothing is moving. Change my story. The words you speak. point listen listen the last prayer point he said give us this day this day not tomorrow lord give me this day breakthrough give me this day promotion mention everything you want and say lord today my faith is for today if your faith says yes god will not say no if your faith says yes God will not say no. Lift your voice and cry. Give me this day healing for my body. Give me this day a new anointing. Give me this day an encounter with the spirit of wisdom. Give me this day direction for the next level of my life. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord is giving me one more prayer point. Don't be tired of praying. Prayer helps you release your faith. Listen. Hold on, please. Listen. Amen. Listen. I want you to pray with all your heart. I told you there are spirits behind every situation. Hear me. I want you to pray in one minute. That any spirit behind your seat. Leave the situation alone. Don't worry. Don't mention. Leave the headache. Leave what? That the spirit behind it. I like you to pray and declare that as God's prophetic word comes from here, that spirit is under arrest, is on fire, and it must leave. Hey. Lift your voice and pray. Leave the case. Challenge the spirit behind it. Leave the case. Leave the case. Challenge the spirit. The spirit behind failure. The spirit behind delay. 
Hallelujah. The devil is in trouble tonight. Rise up, everybody. Rise up, everybody. I tell you, I'm angry in my spirit. Rise up, everybody. We have to pray. Somebody has got to walk out with a testimony. Somebody has got to walk out of this place with a testimony. Somebody has got to walk out of this place with a testimony. Somebody has got to walk out of this place. Bring them out. Somebody has got to walk out of this place with a testimony. It must be over today. 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 It must be over. There is enough grace, brothers and sisters, to step into your situation. Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands, everyone. There is authority in this place, not just power. There is a difference between power and authority. There is authority in this place. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Sabarato kapari kete basala bakaria da badada. The Lord is asking me to pray in tongues for two minutes. Hear me. And while I pray in tongues, me, while I pray in tongues, I want you to bring all those under the anointing. That's what the Lord is asking me to do. Father, let your word go forth. I put the word of God on my prayer. Shebarete seda da da bakata, lekete prekete bash, dekarete tesh, dekareke tesh, dekareke tesh. Shebarete ba, inside outside, lekete prekete bash. The word of God is upon this prayer. Rete kete 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 kete, ekete kete, lekete prapata shebarete ba la ba. Barakata praskata barata. There are tongues of fire. They are tongues of fire. In those paper tanker to show them again. They go to second to the negative. Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands. I tell you, fire is burning in this place. You must be free. You must be free. You must be free. Just lift your hands. Lift your hands. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Every spirit, every covenant, every altar standing on your way to the next level in the name of Jesus. Right now, I command them to leave you now. 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 Every spirit holding your destiny. Every spirit holding your destiny. Every spirit holding your destiny. Leave them now in the name of Jesus. 
Lift your hand. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. I'm seeing a sword in the spirit. And on that sword, I see something like a chain. And on the chain is written stagnation. In the name of Jesus, lift your hand. You may not even know this affects you. At the count of three, as you shout Jesus, many of you will be surprised what will happen to you. Inside, outside, online. Let that spirit that has changed your destiny in one place, as you shout Jesus, I command it to live. Are you ready now? One, two, three. I command stagnation. Go now. Go now. Apoto Shekete. Go now. Go now. Stagnation. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Stagnation leaves your destiny. Stagnation leaves your life. Stagnation. Hallelujah. I'm speaking to someone right now whose life has refused to move forward. I don't know who you are, but every time you want to make progress, you have dreams, and in those dreams, you see things holding you. Sometimes you see chain. The Lord is asking me to release you wherever you are. Right now, I stretch my hands. I set you free. I set you free. I set you free. I set you free. Hallelujah. We are still praying. They must let you go. Parato Soto Barikete. Ladies, lift your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. I want to pray for you from my heart. Something is about to leave you now. Sisters, lift your hands. Every covenant that anyone is under here, please hear me, knowingly or unknowingly, that has tied any lady's destiny, right now, ta 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 ta, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, may that fire come upon you and burn that covenant to ashes. Any ungodly alliance, any covenant that has tied your destiny. Are you ready now, ladies? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Be free, be free, be free. Be free, be free. Be free. Inside and outside, I break it. I break it. I break it. I break it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. I saw something fly above and the lord said is the spirit of death the plague of death there are families here every year someone must die every every year somebody must die there are families here every season somebody must be sick i want to end cycles death does not just mean cessation from living Cycles of repetition. Lift your hands, everybody. This one will affect a lot of people. Please open your heart. Hear me. Many of you may not have observed that there are cycles of repetition that happen in families. Cycles of repetition. Lift your hands. The ministry of angels. At the count of three, with all your heart, I want you to shout Jesus and watch what happens to you. Some of you, as you shout Jesus, you will have an open vision. 
literally and you will see things that have happened in your family and god will bring you a word of deliverance are you ready now at the count of three father back up your word one two three spirit of death i arrest you i arrest you i arrest you i arrest you circles of death circles of death i arrest you hallelujah lift your voice and begin to pray cancel everything challenge every spirit 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 in Challenge every spirit Challenge every spirit Challenge every spirit Challenge every spirit Go, 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 go. Challenge every spirit Challenge every spirit Challenge every spirit Challenge every spirit Challenge Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to be fast. But I'm going to walk around. There is a reason why I walk around. Listen. You don't have to touch me. But let me tell you. As surely as the God of heaven is in this place. When I come close to you. If there is any spirit. That is holding your destiny. It must leave you. Believe me. Believe me. There is an anointing. You don't have to make the place rowdy. I'm going to walk through this road. I will come back here and I will go outside. Let's see how much you can do that very fast. Please, let your heart be open. You don't have to touch me. I'm telling you that any spirit, any spirit, I stretch my hands here. Any spirit, 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 Ira 
you outside sorry about the sound i'm about to walk here listen you don't have to touch me i assure you by the god of heaven by the anointing of the holy ghost right now right now be free i'm passing your role the anointing is upon you the glory is upon you the glory is upon you the glory is upon you be free now be free now as I pass you, God is touching you. God is touching you. God is touching you. Hallelujah. Now there's someone here. Hold on, please. Hold on, please. There is someone in this vicinity. You had a dream three days ago and you saw me praying for you. Three days ago, exactly three days ago. Who is that person? came here the spirit of the lord told me to pray for the person please who is that person let's pray and then the sec don't don't come here please if you are not the person the second person i want to pray for there is someone here you've been having severe abdominal pain right here right here you are a lady this pain has been too much right here please who is that person i want to pray for you right now you're the okay stand here i want to pray for you right now you came for a miracle service lift your hands I use them as a point of contact to pray for everybody here. Anyone here with any strange pain. Ah, look at. I look at this lady and I see a spirit. Go! In the name of Jesus Christ. I command that pain to leave right now. Go. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me someone. I don't know what it is about this row. But there is someone. Your family has gone through repeated cycles of losses this is financial losses for a while i don't need to bring you god is going to bring you out right now lord whoever that person is right now that's the person i'm talking about a miracle comes for you a miracle comes for you i'm seeing a lady here looks like a small girl you see spirits in the night this is like witches this is what i'm seeing the lord is bringing deliverance for that person right now right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ the Lord is bringing a miracle for that person right now right now 
right now who is by the name John. There's someone outside here ministering to those outside by the name John. 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 Who is John, please? Are you John? Your name is John. Ah, there's another John. You are wearing Nigerian shirt. John, you are wearing Nigerian shirt. Is there someone like that? Do I know you? Stand here. I need to pray for you. Because I'm seeing something on your head like madness. Can we have this? Okay, thank you. Those outside, listen. In the realm of the spirit, whether you are inside or outside, believe me when I tell you this, it makes no difference. The only thing they have to lose, you can see I'm talking outside, but I'm still touching people inside. That's the same I can be inside touching you. Don't, don't think because you are standing far, you have a disadvantage of sound, but that's the only disadvantage. It's not a disadvantage to your spirit. Are we together? Look at me. Where are you coming from? From Quara State. Quara State. For this meeting? No, I'm a student in ABU. Oh, you are a student in ABU. I'm, I have to pray for you. I'm seeing somebody reading. And all of a sudden, he starts talking like a madman. Just from academics. And this thing I'm seeing is witchcraft. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I, don't be afraid. I'm not a prophet of doom. I'm going to pray for you. I don't know who is trying to protect anything while you are studying here. But in the name of the God of heaven, please hear me. Because while you are studying, somebody else is hoping you don't pass. But I lay my hands on this gentleman. I use him as a point of contact to anyone here. Whoever has planned anything against you, it returns back to them. In the name of Jesus Christ. All of you in this overflow, this very one, please lift your hand. Sorry again about the sound, but I want you, don't mind, just lift your hands. The Lord is telling me in seven days, please hear me. There are five people here in this room. In seven days, God is going to give their families dramatic breakthrough. Listen. I will not touch you. The power of God will locate them right now. One. That's one. Five of them. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You don't have to bring them out. Seven days. I stand under this prophetic and apostolic voice. And I declare miracles. 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 Bring this little girl for me. Bring this little girl for me. Come, sweetheart. Let her not fall here. Hug me. Come. The Lord is saying, I don't know what family this girl comes from, but the Lord is saying he's giving that family favor right now. Favor for this girl's family. Favor for this girl's family. Favor for this girl's family. I'm seeing... A final year student here. You've written your exams. You thought you've graduated. But I'm looking now and I'm seeing two courses and the Lord is saying we should change it. I don't know who that person is here at this point. I stand in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. And I prophesy. As the Lord has spoken to me, we change it now. We change it now. Help them. We change it now. I want you to believe everything God is doing here. Believe everything God is doing. I'm looking at a family of seven people, no marriage. And God is saying, arrest that spirit. I'm seeing another family of four ladies, no marriage. I don't care who. Wait, you don't have to come. Father, I pray. I'm standing here. It doesn't matter where I stand. I'm speaking to everybody. Right now, in the next one minute, all those whose family has been tied down maritally, fire is coming upon those spirits right now right now right now in the name of jesus be free be free be free completely free be completely free be completely free the lord is showing me something i'm looking at this woman and i am seeing your children i know she may not i i, I don't know if she understands him or not but i'm looking at her and the lord is saying i should wait with her when it's time to go in, I should carry her and meet her two children inside. That's what God is telling me. That I should carry her. Someone ask her. Uh, come behind. 
Evelyn. 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 And who? Okay, they are inside. Evelyn and Mercy. Hold on. Because I looked at this woman and the Lord is saying he wants to visit the woman. And then the Lord told me that two of her children are inside. That when I'm going in, I should hold her and take her inside and minister to that family. I use this woman as a point of contact. You keep hearing me pray and repeating myself. It's because there are spirits that don't want to let people go. They must go tonight. Gentlemen, look at me. Look at me. That guy is your season of breakthrough. I know that you hear a word like this and think I'm joking. Until you hear the testimony. It's your season of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mommy, let me talk to you. Please come. The Lord is saying I should tell you. You hear how Sama? You can speak English. No, no. I need to tell you what I'm saying in Hausa. Yes. That he's going to wipe your in such a way that you will forget the pain of the past. I don't know who you came with, but I'm prophesying to you. Mama, go and write it. This thing will happen. You will come back with a testimony. See, when a prophetic word comes on you, I want you to know that the end has come. There are there are thousands of people here. If God locates you, don't, don't sit down. You are doubting. Is it really God? No, 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 no. Mama, for your children, where are they? Come. Did you tell me? Because uh -uh. Mama, let me talk to you. I'm prophesying. I need to pray for this person because I am seeing God doing a miracle for him. This gentleman. Uh, where is he? Abuja. He's in Abuja. Yes. What's he doing? He's working for somebody and they are not even... Paid. Mama, let me talk to you. That's why I'm talking to you. You see this person? Go and tell him by November a job is coming for him. I will not stand in the open. You are in Zaria here. So it's not like somebody, they ship somebody to come and stage manage. I'm saying it in the open. Go and tell him. My brother, I want to pray for you. There's delay in life. Come and stand here. Someone will look at you and think everything is alright. But if I don't pray for you, will come you will be really frustrated there's a photographer here that things are not working for where are you god wants to change your story i don't know if you're a photographer or something please you see i told us let's cooperate i want us to finish very fast there is a photographer here i'm not guessing you are here things are grounded who are you make sure you are not lying not country you photographer business huh somewhere at north gate at north gate and nothing is happening do you love God? I have to pray for you. Because I'm looking at somebody who stood. You had a quarrel with somebody over snapshot. And the lady cost you. This is what I'm seeing. That lady you see. Uh, well, I'm not. I, I, it's not like I'm indicting people. But that lady you see. It's not everybody you see that is a normal human being. That lady cost you. From that day, things will dry up. You have. It's, it's not like you are careless. But... If it takes a person to speak a word of a curse, it takes a higher anointing to help you. Hold my hands. Return back to your glory. I prophesy to you right now. In the name of Jesus. My brother, let me pray for you. Jesus is truly the answer. You see, let me tell you, brothers and sisters, you can be suffering for decades, but when God decides to step in, that's the end of it. He just helps you. Praise the Lord. When he steps in, I'm hearing Joss. Joss. You came from Joss. You came from Joss. You came from Joss. You came from Joss. The Lord wants to give that person a miracle. You came from Joss. Please, if that person is here, let me. Who? Ah, this is Mama again. We've prayed for Mama now. Oh, from Joss. I'm going to pray. Ah, ah, no, now I will pray for her, but no, I'm not saying your state of origin. You came from there. Not that you came from. I know, Sarah, I'll pray for you, but there's somebody else I'm seeing. Who is that? Sir, you're welcome. You came from Joe, sir. Are you a family? You too, you came. That is, sir. You came from Joss. Where in Joss? I'm with the University of Joss. You're with the University of Joss. I have to pray for you. 
I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a man who has been cheated. This is what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. Sir, you came all the way from Joss, University of Joss. You're a lecturer. You're a lecturer with University of Joss. Why am I seeing you not promoted? Well, I changed from I was lecturer to the university. The system is different from I'm, I'm, I'm going to pray for you because the Lord is saying I should prophesy to you that he's stepping into your life and he's giving you a miracle. Don't waste your time, sir. Ah, I'm seeing you writing like, I don't know if it's a, this is like a, uh, like a publication. This is what I'm seeing. This is a publication and a prof, a prof is going to help you. And God is going to honor you with that publication. No, there are many publications to write. But you will return back. This will happen like a dream. The way God is going to wipe your tears. Praise the Lord. Yes, please. I'm sick. Leukemia. Don't worry, Daddy. I'm going to pray for you. We've not prayed for the sick yet. Are, are, we, are we together? I'm going to pray. When it's time to pray for the sick, I'll lay hands on you. Yes, sir. I'm seeing there's a corruption in your blood and God has to cleanse you completely. Yes, so that you will not die. Don't be afraid of death and be thinking I will die and leave my family. Ah, uh ah. -uh. God is life. He's the same God who was there for you. Hallelujah. Sir, just this prophetic word for you that God is going to lift you. I'll come back to you when I'm praying for the sick. We're going to pray for the sick now. My dear, hold my hands. I'm seeing you climb a ladder, Sarah, and the Lord is saying it's time for you to stay on that ladder. You climb up and it brings you down. You climb up and it brings you down. You climb up and it brings you down. And the Lord is saying, let her climb and not come down. Therefore, I lay my hands on you and I prophesy that it's a new season. In the name of Jesus. There are two ladies inside the main auditorium. The power of God is coming upon them right now. The power of God is coming upon them right now. They are inside. The Holy Ghost is, a, is, a, is like a volcano. It's like an anointing. Two of them inside. The Spirit of the Lord is coming upon them heavily. This is breakthrough that God is bringing. Sir, you wanted to talk to me. Don't worry. You don't have to tell me what the issue is. You understand? If we say that, you see, we will not be able to attend to other people. And it will not be fair. Do we all agree? So, I must not mention your case. Just believe me. Please have the faith that God is going to touch you. I came out like this to encourage us. So that you don't feel I am there. It doesn't matter where you stand. Just for coming to this ground alone, the power of God is there to touch you. Augusta, come, let me for you. This in you come. Kai, I have to pray for you. I'm seeing the spirit of death. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Who brought this guy? Can I, Gina? Can you hear? Me? I have to pray for you. This is the spirit of death on you. And the Lord is saying, I should set you free. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. I lay my hands upon you and I command that spirit of death to leave you and go forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Father, I lay my hands on this gentleman. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus. Hold my hands, darling. I, I, is it your sister? Why are you here? You came from Joss too. Where in Joss? To the water. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! Where is the mama that was here? Uh -uh, there was another woman who was standing here. Please bring her. Be careful with this, our elderly ones, please. Come. Let's walk yeah. Lift your voice and begin to say, Lord, I believe you. Lord, I believe you. Lord, I believe you. Who is this? Who brought you? What's the situation? 
the father is inside we are going to pray for the sick now lift your voice and begin to pray hallelujah lift your hands I'm seeing charm against a family and the Lord is saying let it end now I don't know where that family is that charm that charm I curse it right now by the God of heaven I curse it right now by the God of heaven I curse it right now by the God of heaven I curse it right now by the God of heaven I curse it right now by the God of heaven hallelujah mama where are your children where are the children of this woman the lord gave me a word for them you should have been ready now are they here please so that we move to the next thing i want us to finish here on time i want us to finish here on time are they here Where is her sister? Under the anointing. Hold on. Please, I'll just minister to her. We don't have time. Mommy, hold my hands. I look at you, mama, and I'm saying, just leave the children to play. That's all right. If they shout, those ones are children. Let them play. They are receiving something as they are all playing. I'm telling you. Praise the Lord. Lift your hands. You. Out of him. Now. Mama, I lay my hands on you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. What do you want God to do for you? Sir, I want God to give me a child. To give you what? A child. A child? Yes, sir. My God. Your child? I am, I'm barrenness. Mm. Mm. Ah. My God. 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 Mama, how many years? Ah, uh, I cannot say, sir. Go ahead. How many years? There's a reason I'm asking you. Ah, uh, it's long. Can you remember? Since I was born, I have never given birth. Uh, Since you were born, yes, you are sir. married. Yes, sir. You've not given birth. How many years have you been married? Twenty-five years. I prophesy to someone here from the depth of my heart in the name of the God who sent me. I say it. I prophesy from this woman has touched the core of my spirit in the name that is above all names. I place a demand on my office, not my fate. My office, not my fate. My office, not my fate. And I pray in the name of Jesus. Anyone under any cause, whoever placed that cause must die. I say it again. Whoever placed any cause, whoever placed any cause, I command the ground to open and swallow that person. I say it again. Whoever plays any cause against anyone, shake it, take 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 May the earth open and swallow that blessing. Mama. Where is your husband? He's not here. 25 years. You will think, me, I thought that what, this was one of her children. Mama, lay your hands on your stomach. Where is your husband? Not here, sir. 
in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm not asking you whether you have faith. Look at me. Look at my eyes. If you believe I am sent from God, in the name that is above all names, carry your child. Carry your child. Carry your child. Carry your child. Go and return with a testimony. Mama, hold my hands. I take away sickness from your body. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for two of you. Hold your hands. Please lift it. Let's hurry up. As I lay my hands on both of you, the grace for supernatural favor, I release it upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to hurry up. Please bring out your prayer request. Pass them to the ushers. While you are doing that, all those who are trusting God for healing, now is your time. Please come out quickly. I want us to be very, very fast. Don't injure the ones who are already here. It's going to be very, very fast. Now, all those outside, listen. Those in the second and third overflow, bring that girl. Those in the second and the third overflow, that means the overflow by the roadside, they can come in. But those in this first overflow, please stand outside. Those in this first overflow, you can go outside so that we'll save time. So that we'll save time. Let me pray for these people. Promise, come. Uh, Benga, come. Kenny, come. Um, Michael, come. Where's Pastor Femi? Come. I'll lay hands on you people. You go and lay hands on those outside. Please, make sure that the people are healed. We are not playing games. This is not just formality. Please, come out. Bring the lady. Out! Release her now in the name of Jesus. I command you spirit. It's time for you to go right now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let me pray for these gentlemen. When I pray for them, they are going to go outside. Don't look at them. Look at the anointing that is upon them. In the name of Jesus. That grace. The anointing. That grace. That grace. That anointing. That grace, that anointing, that grace, that anointing. Please, you go, just pray for the people outside. And Jimmy, please come, you join me. We'll pray for those here. Now, listen, we are going to be very fast. Please, if we don't ask you what is wrong with you, you don't have to say it. Now, let me do something, please. If you are elderly here, make your way to the front. Please, if you are elderly, make your way to the front. Our mothers, our fathers, so that I can just lay my hands on them and then they can go back. Please, I... Please, some of you that are coming are not elderly please go back if you are elderly elderly is very clear if you are elderly we know elderly means you have a grown-up child please please let's save ourselves any embarrassment hallelujah worship team you will lead us through a series of powerful worship now if there are your loved ones who have not sent their request please let them do it very fast because i want us to pray here now make sure you drop your request everyone under the sound of my voice father i pray for these ones as i pray for you i don't know what the situation is but i'm placing a demand by the god of heaven inside and outside that there will be miracles in the name of jesus christ amen and amen heal the sick oh god and let there be miracles in the name of jesus christ mama please hold my hands in the name of jesus you're the god of wonder Amazing God, you're the God of miracles. Amazing As I pray for you, go back God, to your you're the God of wonder. Amazing Ow. God, Be you're the now. God of miracles. I release miracle. your destiny. I release. Amazing God, say you're the God of wonder. Amazing God, you're the God of Miracle, amazing God, you're the God of wonder. In the name of Jesus, amazing In. God, you're the God of miracle. Amazing, you're the God, say, you're the God of wonder. Yes, as they pray for you, just go back and amazing check yourself. We don't have the time for testimony. You're now. the God of miracles, amazing. You are God, you're the God of wonder. Amazing God, you're the God of miracles. Amazing, you are God, you're the God of wonder. Amazing.
amazing God, you're the God of miracles. Amen. You are God, say, you're the God of wonder. Amazing. Amazing! 
Your name is Yah. Hey, your name is Yahweh. Hey, your name is Yahweh. Hey, you are the miracle working God. Your name is Yah. I say your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Hey, you are the miracle working God. Your name is Yah. I say your name is God, your name is Yahweh. I say, your name is Yahweh. 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 Here I'm the walking God. Your name is Yahweh. I say, your name is Yahweh. Amazing God, you're the God of wonder. Amazing God, you are the God of miracles. Amazing God, you are the God of wonder. Amazing God, amazing, 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 amazing. You are the God. Hey, amazing God, you are the God of miracles. Amazing God, I say you are the God. Amazing God, you are the God. You are the God. You are the God. You are the God. I say you are the God. You are the God of wonder. You are the God of miracles. Amazing God, you are the God of wonders. Amazing God, you are the God of miracles. Miracles, amazing God, you are the God of wonders. Amazing God, you are the God of miracles. I say you are the God. Hey, hey, amazing God, and you are the God. You are the God. You are the God. You are the God. Hey, amazing, amazing, amazing God. Amazing God, amazing. I said, amazing, amazing, amazing God, yeah. amazing God, amazing God, amazing. hey, amazing, amazing God, amazing. one more time, amazing, amazing, amazing God, amazing God, hey, amazing God, oh, you're the God of wonder, amazing God, amazing God, you are the God of God of miracles. God. I say you are the God of wonders, amazing God. You are the God of miracles, miracles, miracles. Yeah. You are the God. You are the God. You are the God. You are the God. Amazing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet, please. Rise up on your feet, everyone. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Please shout it, shout it in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that my request upon this altar must become my testimony. Say it again. I decree and declare that my request upon this altar. Must become Shabara Katabara Jekete Kurata Katabara. Let her go free in the name of Jesus. Must become my testimony. No matter how many, I believe that God is able to turn them into testimonies now listen i want you to stretch your hands here don't ask god don't pray stretch your hands mention your request mention his testimony equivalent are you getting the point now there is barrenness here i receive my baby please you've heard the testimonies of people let me tell you this is a covenant you see happen it's not just that we do it it's something that god said are you getting what i'm saying now 
please stretch your hand and begin to call the things that be not as though they were and watch the God of wonders. Go ahead. I'm releasing my faith with you. Go ahead and pray. Those online, make sure that you follow us. We are praying on the request now. I don't care what your challenge is. I don't care from which part of the world you are streaming and following. I want you to know that the God of all flesh, we have a covenant of answered prayers in this place. And we are praying on your request. Father, give your people testimonies. Give them turn around miracles. Release jobs, oh God. Release marriages, release children. Release ministries, release anointings and mantles and graces. Release revelation from the throne. Release prayer unction. Break habits, break things. That tie down the destinies of your people. The power that was Stretch your hands. It's an act of faith. Lord, let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles for your people. We pray these things before you. We spread them before you. Look upon them, O God, with your grace and your mercy. Let them stand for our miracles. Supernatural miracles. These are faith in your power. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree done in the name of Jesus. Are not angels, ministry, spirits sent forth to minister to the heirs of salvation? We receive the ministration of these results and answers in the name of Jesus. It is done, Lord, exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or imagine. In the name of Jesus, we rejoice with thanksgiving. In Jesus' name we decree. Hallelujah. I cried my life unto God. I said, Lord, tonight, as you bless men, do not forget me. As you change the stories of men, as you have always done, do not forget me. Go ahead and pray and say, Lord, my life is free from immorality. My life is free from a lying tongue. My life is free from idolatry. Tonight, my eyes are lifted up to you. Come on, pray. He's here tonight to bless us. I have made you too small in my eyes, oh Lord, forgive me, and I have believed in the lie that you were unable to help. Who told you God cannot help you? But now. Oh Lord, I see my wrong. Fill my heart and show yourself strong. And in my heart, and in my heart, and with my soul. Oh Lord, be mine. Make sure you're singing it from your heart. Inside and outside.
Now tell the Lord what you want him to do in your life tonight. Say it so that when it happens, you will know he did it. Don't keep quiet. Say, Lord, change my story. Deliver my family tonight. Hallelujah. 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 The devil is a liar. Are you listening to me? The Bible says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Spirit of the Lord, come and make. Your presence, Lord, we be the glory of the Lord. Lord, let the heavens be open. I command the miracle angels, the angels of deliverance, across the land and bread of this building. Everyone who is standing in this place, let him be under the influence of the power. Yeah. I'm going to rebuke Satan and the works of darkness over people and families. Listen, it's time for any devil that is standing your way and that of your family to go. For the enemy has done this. And God has so highly exalted him. Lift your hands. As I rebuke the works of darkness, as the power of God comes upon you, let me help them in front. Thou devil of darkness, it's time to go. Let God's people go. Go, go, go. Let the power of God fall, fall. I command demons. Powers of darkness, for you cannot stand in the name that is above every other name. Go, or shall spring them outside that devil. Let God's people go. Those outside, lift your hands. The power of God sets men free, sets men free. Sets men free. Katalaka pato toto bakata. Ranta tabosa. You're going to shout Jesus once, and the power of God. Devils will leave. They must go tonight. They must go. Are you ready? Especially outside, the power of God will fall like rain. Shout Jesus. Let the angels, the angels of God are moving with a sword in this place. The angels of God are moving with a sword. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains be 
broken by the fire of the Holy Ghost. 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 No devil can stand. No devil can stand. No devil can stand. I tell you, no devil can stand. Outside, the angel of the Lord is moving with a sword. A mighty angel, a mighty angel, a mighty angel. Outside, a mighty angel, mighty angels, mighty angels. Mighty angels. I don't know why angels are moving outside, but the Lord shows me angels. Mighty angels. The northern army of the Lord's eye moving in power. Time of Satan. Time of over the destinies of God's people. Outside, an angel of the Lord's presence. We magnify your name. We magnify your name like fire. I see a whole roll outside. Like fire, a whole row outside. Like fire is falling like rain. Like fire. No devil can stand. No devil can stand. This is a place for emancipation. God's people will go free. And no devil, no power in hell will stand the fire power. Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand in his holy place? He that has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity. At the back, this row, at the back, for you shall not stand over God's people. The fire of God upon one person at the back, you will not stand it. It comes like rain with power upon you. Every devil over God's people, those of you in front, at the count of three, I command every devil, go, go, one, two, three, out, 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 out by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let them go free. Every delay, every habit, every spirit, out of witchcraft, every enchantment. My sister, be free now. That devil, let her go free. 
by the fire power of the Holy Ghost. Let her go. 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 Be free. That devil for the children shall not suffer the iniquity of the fathers. Hallelujah. For you cannot stand the light of God. This lady has been tormented. Satan, out of her now. In the name of Jesus, be free. The heavens are open. God's power is touching everybody, not just those in front. Come out of him now. Come out of him. Come out of him. By the power of the Holy Ghost. She's free now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Now, be free. Come out of her. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. That fire power upon you. That fire power in the name of Jesus. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floodgates. I see a woman I see a woman who came with a child a woman who came with a I'm seeing a small boy where is the woman inside or outside what's wrong with the child his body is hot his body is hot can you lose him can you hold him if you are deaf hear me inside and outside if you are deaf whether in one ear or both ears if you brought someone who is deaf put your hands in the ear that is not working it's time for deaf people to be healed now or even if you are hearing i see two people you you are hearing but it's not clear because it looks like there's water you literally feel like water is going to go now for one of you water will literally come out katapato kopaya Deaf ears, hear ye the word of the Lord. Ephata, be opened in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Deaf ears, make sure you check yourself. We'll take some testimonies. Bring this lady. Tonight is your night of deliverance. Tonight is your night of deliverance. Hallelujah. Please, I need someone with a mic. What is wrong with the child, madam? Just I came back from the work and I had the body of the baby is hot and I leave him nothing nothing to you him. believe God will set this boy yes, free right I, now yes oh there are miracles yes listen there are miracles happening now. once you are under the influence of his presence God is changing lives opening doors name of the Lord Jesus I set you free the power of God is going through his body that's what is making him uncomfortable 
in the name of Jesus be free now be free now I command your temperature to go down your son is free take Hallelujah. Someone came. I don't know what it is that has to do with your leg. Is it pain in your joints or something around your leg? There's someone you came. You are not a regular worshiper here. Who is that person? The Lord is showing me someone like that with that case. Please, quickly, quickly, quickly. Once we call your case, we don't want to keep people so long here. Once we call your case, please run out quickly. Please. What's wrong with you? Anytime I walk, it always pains me. Anytime you walk, it always pains you. Where? How long has it been? Since when I was small. Bring a chair for me, please, quickly. What's wrong with you? It's paining you. How about you? Please bring three chairs quickly, quickly. Let's save time. Just turn it. No, 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 turn it. God is healing heart conditions now. God is healing heart conditions. Hold on. There's someone, you have abnormal, what do they call it, medical students, help me. Heartbeat, irregular heartbeat. Irregular heartbeat. You? Okay, come. But there's another lady I'm seeing, she's taller than you. Irregular heartbeat. Sometimes it beats, you even have to use your mouth. It's a very serious condition. Who is that? Please come quickly. Lord, we release now the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. What's wrong? Come, bring her. All right. Don't worry, I'm not saying she pull up. Just, just remove your shoes, can you? God will give you a mirror from here right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now please watch your screen inside and outside. Watch your screen. Can you see that if you are looking very well, can you see that one of these legs is shorter than the other? Can you see it, please? Now watch what the power of God will do. Sister, look at me. Open your eyes. Don't miss your miracle. All right? Tell us whether we are pretty. Are you seeing that one leg is shorter than the other? This is why the pain is coming. You will literally watch it grow right now. Are you ready? Watch it. In the name that is above all names. Watch this grow. Are you seeing it? In the name of the Lord Jesus. Look at, look at, look at what is happening to this leg. In the name of the Lord Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Did you feel anything? Help out with the mic. What did you feel? Now try walking. Stamp it. Come. Get up and try to stamp it. Try to stamp it. Just stamp it. Try to stamp it. You still feel pain? You still feel pain? It's... No. Are you serious? Come on, celebrate a miracle. Come, come up here. Jump. Can you jump? Look at Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Where's the other lady? While the ministers pray for you, this is a simple thing. I'm telling you, don't go around just pulling legs and disgrace yourself because that's what a lot of people do. You like this is not chambori. You disgrace yourself somewhere, someone injures you for nothing. Hallelujah. Praise God, sir. While they are praying so that we'll save time, they'll pray for you. Hallelujah. This is what's wrong with you? A fracture on your leg. Which of them? How long? Seven months. Like seven months. Yes, sir. You've been walking with this? Yes, sir. You can't walk except you use it. Yes, sir. Look at me. My brother, I bring you life right now. Amen. I, look at me. Look at me. 
in the name that is above all names i command the fractured leg to go let it join right now see look at what is happening to him look at what is happening to him this is the power of the holy ghost this is the power of the holy ghost going through the leg in the name of the lord jesus look at me sir look at me can you walk look at me just start walking follow me look at this look at this he came with crutches jump can you jump any pain fracture a fractured leg a fractured leg a fractured leg a fractured leg just got healed right now by the power of the holy ghost a fractured leg hallelujah if you're blind in one eye what happened to you sir there was a friend who knows him who came here with him oh you know him he's a popular person is it true that he has been working with this crutch come on give jesus a shout of praise yahweh i think we should give god some praise yahweh for him what happened to you sir make sure you don't tell lies so hallelujah actually uh, i had an accident listen okay the leg was paining, me. The leg was paining you exactly. so, okay when the man of God, uh, when pastor jake prayed for you it, perfect. It, it became perfect yes. come up come up come up do what you couldn't do before do what you couldn't do jump up look at this look at this if your blood group is ss or as now is the time for it to change forever listen i'm serious i'm serious please make sure you believe we are not joking here outside i see that there is a mighty miracle that god will soon do outside as hallelujah you can connect for any member of your family anyone in this place by the power of the holy spirit we command as and ss to change now to aa in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i sense someone has been healed in the ear someone has been healed in the ear please check you came here with ear problem someone has been healed in the ear the lord is showing me someone who has been healed in the ear hallelujah sorry my uncle has been treated for the past three your years. uncle okay hold on i'm a footballer my uncle have a twist so every time your uncle has twisted yeah, how long time, three years now Anytime okay i'm running the uncle will be making some just remove your shoe let me make contact with it what's wrong with you sir irregular heartbeat. Eh? Irregular heartbeat. oh the irregular heartbeat what should leave you now the devil go by the power of the holy ghost check yourself breathe in and out test yourself could you do this before breathe in could you do this before look at this breathe in and out breathe in and out breathe in and out you're free in the name of the lord jesus please ushers hold him let me just make contact with your feet hallelujah or oh, bishop stand just pray with him he will pray with you check yourself you will be healed hallelujah so we can concentrate I used to have, I play hockey, I'm a sport. Okay, listen to this testimony. I play hockey, I'm a sportsman, and over the years, I've been having this muzzle pool. Muzzle pool, okay. Yes, but outside there, I was feeling something. Outside there, his legs started shaking. 
and right now there's no right now he's healed power of the holy ghost blessed be the name of the lord blessed be the name of the lord pain in the right hand there's someone i'm seeing pain here very severe pain you even cry who is that person it's time for you to rejoice pain severe pain is like a shock in your right hand who is that person pain no 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 check yourself please check yourself and if act on it come on watch this could you do this before could you do this before watch a miracle happen could you do this before stamp it stamp it pastor stanley just prayed for him hallelujah the lord perfect you in the name of jesus christ how many of you are celebrating what god is doing in this place the hand the lord is showing me someone severe pain in your right hand please when we call your case just run out quickly you are the one good evening thank you where is the pain in your right hand how long has it been up to five years now. up to five years what's wrong with it what happened i don't know just like that whenever i stretch it i feel pain in the can you turn it round up and down hold on can you do that before yes, but no but you, you feel pain yes. all right watch what will happen to you right now you believe that <laughs> it is such fun to see such fun to see Say can lose. hallelujah look at me i come in a name that is above every other name and we challenge this devil it goes look at me i want you to wind it as fast as you can go ahead don't think about it look at this hallelujah look at me sister what happened to you could you do this before could you do this before in the name of jesus the lord perfects you by the power of the holy ghost what's wrong with her What is this? I don't know. All right, I'm going to pray for you. Does it pain you? Yes. Does it pain you? Yes. The pain will stop. He is able more than me. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. Accomplish what concerns me. devil of darkness be gone in the name of jesus check yourself check yourself check yourself check yourself hallelujah hallelujah now bring this lady just bring her For God wants to use you and make a mighty woman of faith. I'm seeing that I don't know what it is that this lady matched, but she matched something that is demonic. That's what is happening to her. Jesus. Do this for your glory. Do this for your glory. I set you free. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. I set you free. I declare you free right now. Shalom. Located your hands. Wow. God will give you a miracle now. I am the Lord that healed thee. 
a sick person you are a guest please come and line up quickly you brought a sick person you brought a sick person please just pick up god is doing some you brought a sick person now is the time please come out let's save time you brought a sick person outside you brought an invited guest who is sick please come quickly bring them to the front What's wrong with you? Please, technical help us. Pain. Under my stomach, I also feel pains in my chest. Pains. I feel pains. You believe in Jesus Christ. You believe he'll set you free. Listen, sweetheart. What you see here are not stage managed miracles. Are you listening to me? You believe that? Please, can I have a lady? Just lay your hands on her chest, one of the washers. is a demonic oppression you will rise up totally fine come come you're welcome come what's wrong with you madam schizophrenia what schizophrenia mental schizophrenia we, i think we should employ some medical people who is studying you are a serious medical student or you are a doctor eh no we have doctors sir please come quickly quickly appreciate him Please, quick, 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 quick. Please hurry up, sir, and help us. Hallelujah. What is schizophrenia, sir? Schizophrenia is a psychiatric condition. Okay. That is characterized by hallucinations. You hear voices. You begin to see things that don't exist ah oh so it's like madness yes. like a psychosomatic condition you'll be free right now look at me my dear you believe that because of devils he said the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor to bind up the brokenhearted to set the captives free huh my dear hold my hands hold my hands can you look at me? Can you shout Jesus? Shout it as loud as you can. Jesus! Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. That devil of schizophrenia. Go. In the name of Jesus. Who, who brought her? What happens to her? Okay, okay. It's going to leave her. Are you listening to me? It's going to leave her forever. All right? She sees things that are not there. Yes, sir. All right? Yes, sir. And I'm seeing her waking up and shouting in the night. Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. In the night, people are sleeping. She just wakes up and starts shouting. Yes, sir. That's what the Lord is showing me. The Lord set you free. Now, sister, look at me. It does not return to you again. And I also see the spirit of depression that has come upon you. The Lord sets you free. Look at me. Look at me. Run down there and run back. Run. I didn't say walk. Run. Run. Run like you're doing 100 meters relay. Do it one more time. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Now run back again. You are free in the name of Jesus Christ. Totally free. Totally free in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Sir, just please just spread yourself. Let's do that quickly. You just minister. We have to save time because everybody must be touched this night. Hallelujah. What's wrong with you, sister? There's this a headache I've been having headache. over here now, yes. And it keeps making me present. Go! In the name of Jesus. 
Okay. I used to excrete blood. You used to excrete blood. It ends right now. Put your hands on your stomach. That devil of darkness. Be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ. I've been having this particular backache. For backache. Five. Lay your hands there. The power of God will hit you so hard. In the name of Jesus. Be totally hope. In the name of Jesus. They pray for you. Hallelujah. That's all. Alright, let's have all the sick people come and line up quickly. Sick people quickly. Oh, oh, oh. Heaven. Heaven. You are sick in your body quickly. Oh, oh, oh. Don't go back with your sickness. Those in the congregation be connected. Some of you will be receiving the healing anointing. In the name of Jesus. Go by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus.
inside and outside if you know anybody in your family listen who is not feeling fine or you brought the picture of anybody to connect or anything while we are praying whether it's HIV or cancer I like you to be connecting are you listening the worshipers are they, they are worshiping it's not just for the formality of it they are creating an atmosphere are you listening to me are you listening to me so I want you to connect are you listening to me? I want you to connect to what God is doing. Hallelujah.
couldn't see. Is that true? Can you see me now? Can you see me now? Please hold this. Help me with a handkerchief, please. Can you see? Touch this. Touch this. Come and touch it. Come and touch it. Come and touch it. Come and touch it. That devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus, the Lord perfect you. Give God a shout of praise. There is lightning and thunder, miracles and wonders, sound of many waters, heaven on earth. of i know there are many people just go back to your seat but all of you who came out the five of you all of you come and hold your hands together all of you hold your hands together five of you but i'm going to pray for everybody look at me the power of god will touch you i sense a strong anointing are you listening to me a strong anointing lord let it move across right now in the name of the lord jesus Randa cross to kroto bashigeteba. Randa pros restoration for your family. Great restoration in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Now delay. Any kind of delay. Kataba kataba. No no no. Don't come out. Don't come out. Please just stay where you are. Just lift your hands by faith. Because I see in the realm of the spirit two gates. Bring this lady. Ah. I see a lot of demonic things. Bakatata. Come out of this family now. In the name of Jesus. Every yoke of bondage. Batatata. Bosa. Bosa. 
Lift your hands, everybody. Projects that are not completed by your family members. That devil of delay is a spirit. Hear me. The Bible says, and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran and overtook the chariot at the count of three the power of God as he's hitting you is touching your family members one two three like red oh God like red oh God so papa chakata every spirit of today go 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 I command God to be open break through in the name of the spirit everyone under the sound of my voice let the doors of destiny be open in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah now if you are a student here I'd like you to shout amen you will know why you are shouting amen now because the Bible says that when Daniel was tested with his colleagues that there was a kind of spirit that was upon him and he was ten times suddenly his, his intelligent creation his, his capacity listen friends I told you that this is the year you will do fearful exploit in your academics listen and if you are in 100 level happy are you In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hold on, leave her. Don't touch her. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Look at me, young lady. I'm not speaking to you. I'm speaking to the spirit. Let the power of God bring you forth. Let the power of God bring you forth. You will leave your seat and come forward by the influence of the spirit. Let it happen right now. A contention of light. All those affected will come out by themselves. Leave them. All those affected, they will come out. The Holy Ghost will take you from your seat and bring you here in front. You will come out by the spirit. Stop that lady. Just stop her. Come. All of them, no, they can't stand. The Holy Ghost will bring you right in front by your, by himself. He will pick you from your seat. No matter how far you are, he will direct you and bring you in front. Leave them, leave them. They will come by themselves. It's the power of the Holy Ghost. He will bring them to the front. He will bring them to the front by himself. It's a sign and a wonder of the sovereignty of Jesus. Look, ushers, leave that girl. She will come out by them by herself. If it's the Holy Ghost, he will bring her to the front. You will come out by the Holy Ghost to the front by yourself. It's the compelling power of the Holy Ghost and the castle in the spirit of God.
Father, you come out by the Holy Ghost. You run to the front now by the power of the Spirit. God will do a thorough work. Listen, I'm telling you, many of you will go back and see doors opening left and right. I prophesy it into your life. I prophesy it into your life. I prophesy it into your life. Sister, come out of her now in the name of Jesus. Be free. Say, you have supernatural exploits. I set you free now sister I set you free because she's speaking a language in the realm of the spirit and I hear what she's saying the Lord is setting your family free in the name that is above all names for after the count of five victory will be established that's what the Lord tells me one two Three, four, five. Please call this sister for me. Come, my dear. For God is not only going to set you free tonight, but God has begun a walk in your family. This is Kemi's sister, right? You will go back and see the dramatic things. The Lord is even restoring. I see financial restoration. Mighty financial restoration. There is a property your father wants to sell. Tell him not to sell it. There is a blessing coming. You just go and tell him. Are you listening to me? And for you, look at me. This is an evil spirit. Now, be free. Now. Now. This is an evil spirit. Look at me. I want to pray for you. Are you listening to me? Your family, can me come. Both of you stand. God is bringing a major, major restoration to your family. You believe that? Look at me. I don't know what it is, but the Lord is saying I should tell you that the Lord can bless you anywhere in Nigeria, in UK, or Canada. God just says I should tell you. Are you listening to me? Hold my hands. Lord, let this lady step into a new level of favor. Now, Kemi, for you, look at me. It's a restorative breakthrough God is bringing. What you are entering now, you, would have, you are supposed to have entered it since. But the Lord is restoring to you. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power and the influence of the Spirit. Where's your friend? Where's your friend? The guy that came. Come. at me there are three breakthroughs God is giving you do you understand one I will not talk about it but you know what I'm talking about the second is in the area of your business and that restoration is going to come through wisdom and knowledge are you listening to me wisdom and knowledge but look at me God wants your heart like never before 
Do you understand? Business books can only do so much. Are you listening to me? God must take your heart before he blesses your hand. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? I want to pray for you. Hold my hands. Give him an impartation, oh God. Let him know he met the king of kings. Strong impartation. In the name of Jesus. I command freedom for you. I command breakthrough for you. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Come. You came from a university campus. Not Zaria. Where are you? You came from a university camp. Not Ebi Uzaria. I'm seeing someone from a campus. Not Ebi Who is that person? Please. Please come my brother. Come quickly. Come and stand here. My brother, look at me. God is going to cause a hunger for him in your heart. Like never before. This is not the kind of prayer you expected me to pray for you. But you don't worry. Is that true? Sir, what did you expect? To prophesy to my life because I've been experiencing so many. Please, technical help us. So, uh, I've been looking for God's direction in my ministry. Basically, my whole life Look is. Look at going... me, my brother. You, are, you just started ministry or something like that. Okay, you are going into ministry. Yes, sir. You leave ministry and pursue God. You are not equipped. You will die for nothing. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. You just calm down. You need God. You need to experience the power of God. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. So that you don't jump into the error that people are having. However, yes, because you came here, yes, God will ignite a fire in you. Amen. It will first start with the spirit of prayer. Amen. It will fall on you. You will pray like a madman. Amen. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. And from there, God will begin to give you direction. Amen. You believe that? Yes, sir. Hold my hands as tight as you can. <laughs> look at me. Just look at me. Lord, as you have shown me, ignite him with a fire. Fire upon you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you will never be the same. Never be the same. The spirit of prayer, let it fall on you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where is the gentleman? Come. From where? Foot Mina. Mina again. How many of you know that God is doing something in me now? Hold my hands, my brother. You came, you will catch a fire. Look at me, look at me. You came with, an hung with a hunger. God will not leave you. Just lift one hand up. You will feel literal fire coming upon this hand. And it will flow through every part of your body. Lord, let it be done as you are showing me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The name of the Lord Jesus. That strong fire upon you. It flows from your hand from your hand to every part of your body and look at me there is the spirit of leadership upon you you are going back with a strong spirit of leadership are you listening to me i'm hearing the name rebecca sorry we're out of time we'll round up now rebecca rebecca who is rebecca rebecca A student no where are you i'm in secondary school you're in secondary school yes, sir. will you be available if god uses you yes, sir. to bring a great revival in your school yes sir. what school is that jama secondary school jama secondary school hold my hands both of your hands say after me jesus i'm available like Catherine Kuhlman. Let your fire come upon me. Now look at me. Look at, look at the answer to the prayer. You will never be the same again. It's a mighty impartation. You are the same name. Come. You are a student of where? Maybe you. Yes. What department? English language. You believe God can do great things through you? Huh? Yes, sir. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Use me. Use me. Anoint me. Anoint me. All right, now you have the answer to your prayer. In the name of Jesus, ignite her. 
See, it's like fire in your tummy. It's that of the spirit. You will never recover from it. Never. Never. In the name of Jesus. Foot me now. Okay, why did you delay? We have to hurry up. Please. Did you bring your prayer request? Alright, quickly. Quickly, your prayer request. Outside, make sure your prayer request. If you are outside, please write it quickly and pass it. Just stay where you are. to set free to win souls for the kingdom this and more may the Lord release upon you foot in uh, but you need to dedicate time for God uh, you don't pray you don't spend so much time in the word there's no other way to grow hmm? does it make sense to you what I'm saying but you came because you trust God to put a fire in you. Hold my hands, please. Lord, please put a fire in him. In the name of Jesus. That you will never be the same again. In Jesus' name. Your prayer requests, please quickly pass them. Just pass it to the last person. We have to be out of here. Just wait because I need to prophesy to the life of everyone. So do that quickly. Outside, even if you are just coming. Wherever you are, please get a paper. Help one another with papers, please. Hallelujah. Please, quick, 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 quick. You should have written this before now, but write it quickly. Please. Because Pastor Jax is going to speak and prophesy the fire of evangelism. Are you listening to me? And Bishop is going to come and pray and prophesy and release the spirit of prayer. These two things. Are you listening to me? We have to do that quickly. The Lord is showing me doors that are opening. This is what I'm seeing. See, I'm seeing this thing again and again. Doors. 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 Many of you don't know the value of an open door. close to Jessica. Come. Yes, you. Come. My dear, you standing. You believe God can use you in a mighty way. You want him to use you. Lift your hands where you are. Lord, release an anointing upon her that will cause her to be mightily used. The Lord is showing me visions. I see two eyes being put upon you eyes being put upon you Lord I pray that she will begin to see great and mighty things beginning from today in the name of Jesus my dear God wants you you believe that and he wants you this is not the issue of just run away from all these men that want to run around you they don't even know where they are going focus on Jesus Christ are you listening to me you need him first ladies what you need first in your life is not a man is Jesus if you know how to love and relate with Jesus a man will become an asset to your life are you listening to me hold on we'll soon pray that prayer that special prayer to send away some people out of your life and bring the people God has destined do you like that kind of prayer but you must be willing and obedient sister look at me you want me to pray that God will anoint you you want to pray good friends, an association of people who love God. Love is compulsory, but relationship is not. Are you listening to me? You mustn't relate with everybody. You have a very tender heart. Let them not take you for granted. Hold my hands. Jesus.
Jesus, please do something in her life, I pray. Please give her an anointing in the name of Jesus. Bless her. Use her for your glory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Steve Strings, please can you come up and sing There is none like you, your guitar. Hallelujah. While you bring the prayer request, Steve Strings will sing There is none like you. I just sense that that's what we need. Do we have the prayer request? Please quickly. Quickly. If, let's, let's have it, please. Pour it here quickly, quickly. All right, there's this. If you've not written, just write. We'll give you one minute quickly. This is not a ritual. God answers prayers, I'm telling you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search to all eternity, Lord, and find there is none like you. There's none like Jesus. There is none like you. There is none like you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, listen. I've been waiting for the Holy Ghost to signify it. Please, everybody, stand up. Jesus is calling many people tonight. Listen to me. Many of you have heard me preach. You've seen the miracles. There are many of you standing outside. And the Lord is speaking to you. Hallelujah. The Bible says, come unto me. All ye that are weary and heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Hallelujah. For many of you, you have been running away from God. Or you have been born again, but it's one leg inside. One leg outside. No one condemns you, but Jesus is calling you today. You came with your friend. But I like you. Don't let someone sitting by your left and right make you not to make this decision for jesus christ you need jesus christ he said i am the way there are many ways he said i am the truth hallelujah i'm going to count one to ten i like you to leave your seat and run out at that count of don't be ashamed the lord is talking to you many of you from the time i began to preach you have come to the end of the road as i count as i begin to count one to ten i like you to run and come out one Two, leave your seat and run inside and outside. Three, four, run out. Don't be ashamed of anybody. Five, outside. God is calling you. Jesus is calling you. Run out and come. Ushers, help them. Ushers, help them. Six, leave your seat. Forget about your friend. Forget about whoever you came with. We are waiting for you, seven. The name. Come like to the Jesus. Name Run to Jesus. Jesus. Don't let your brother make you sit back there. He's there is a better life. There is a higher life. There is a greater life in Christ Jesus. Better than what you have experienced in eternity and in this world. No one. Seven. Jesus is still calling. Jesus. Jesus is still calling. No other name. No other name. Eight. Like the name. We have two more counts. Outside. No Jesus is still speaking no to a few people. No Don't be ashamed of anyone. Leave your friend. Leave your relatives. Go on and come here. We are waiting for the last person. We are waiting for the last person. Like the name of Jesus. Ten. Hallelujah. Just say, dear Lord Jesus, I come before you today, calling out to you, please help me, forgive me for my sins, make me a new creature, wash me with your blood, 
make me clean. I receive salvation in the name of Jesus. From today, I receive power to live a holy life in the name of Jesus. And Father, I pray for your people in the name of Jesus. Blessed Holy Spirit, you see their hearts. I ask that God, you uphold them with the power of your word. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that Lord, everything that has pulled them thus far, Lord, has pulled them far from you. Everything that has held them back. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray that Lord, you break them away from it in the name of Jesus. Give them strength to walk with you. You are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ and you are forgiven by the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please put your, hold on, just put your hands together for them. We welcome you to the greatest, biggest, most victorious family. Not Koinonia, the kingdom of heaven. God's own kingdom. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Jesus brought all of you here. I want you to begin a great and practical work. Are you listening to me? Please. We love you. I want your salvation to be genuine. Don't just make it emotional and then go back. Uh -uh. Are you listening to me? A Christian's life must be backed up by a radical shift. You must leave the things you used to do. There's power. You must break away from ungodly associations. There must be a practical step. That's why the power is upon you. Hallelujah. Now, you do this for me very quick. Very quickly. The ushers are going to have your details. Are you listening to me? Tomorrow, you're going to have a special session with Pastor Jakes. He's going to talk to you. He's going to follow you up. And then we'll get all of you filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And then you'll begin... Every time we get people born again, the moment we follow you up with some foundational teachings, once you get filled with the Holy Spirit, you march straight to prayer band for one month. Hallelujah. You pray for one month. After that time, you'll be strong enough. We want our fruits to abide. Hallelujah. I bless you with the blessings of the Lord. Whatever has held you down, it leaves you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let this be a new life for you. Please get up and follow the ushers. Please celebrate this harvest. Just follow the ushers. Don't worry, you will come back. Follow the ushers quickly. Hallelujah. Now, very quickly, please look up. We, are, we don't have time. Pastor Jakes is going to speak just in a few seconds and release upon us the spirit of soul winning. Are you listening to me? Everyone must become a soul winner. Hallelujah, sir. Hallelujah. Because God is going to be giving some of us a new heart. It starts with your heart, a compassionate heart. If you are willing and ready for this, the Lord will visit you with it. Some of you will literally feel like fire on your feet. That's what I'm sensing right now. A fire will come upon some of you, your feet. Thank you, blessed Lord. Lamb of God, we worship you. Lamb of God, we worship you. Up your hands, lift up your hands as we pray. Blessed Father, Abba Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. I ask that God you release from heaven, you release a fire from heaven, Lord. You release a fire upon your people from heaven. I ask in the name of Jesus, let there be a visitation, let the presence of God come upon you. Let the fire of God come upon you. A passion for souls. In the name of Jesus, let fresh fire, let fresh fire be released upon your heart. Your heart begins to burn for souls and pants for it. You will not find rest. You will not find rest. In the name of Jesus, your tongue, the fire of God comes upon your tongue. 
in the name of Jesus Christ, the fire of God comes upon your feet. The Holy Spirit will lead you to, to speak the word, to speak the gospel, the angels of salvation. Lord, we pray that you release in the name of Jesus the four corners of this place. Let them be released. Let the oil and the mantle of evangelism be released. We pray. Lord, I pray that you grant your people vision for souls, a hunger for souls, for souls. Jesus! 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 Aprendo siba, rieto mianta, in tush limante, ristuminta, mionte, itapila, suminante, itrusigrasa, ristaminta, sumelete, itrusigrasa, itrusigrasa, Lord, I pray that God, this fire will burn continually, we pray. To burn continually, Lord. We pray in their hearts. Our hearts will be on fire. Hallelujah. That's the spirit of evangelism. That's the spirit of evangelism. Now Bishop is going to pray. I pray this will fall strong on people. The spirit of prayer. Many of you need to pray. Many of you need to pray. Many of you need to pray. Lord, the spirit of grace and supplication rest in the house in the name of Jesus. Lord, the fire of the Holy Spirit and the cold of the Lord rest upon your heart that your heart will yearn for his presence that the Lord will be successful for your family while I will come to the God and take the person to the God while I will come and deliver the truth and the people of God from the heart and the mouth of the enemy for the Lord find you and love you and intercept you men and women of prayer in the name of Jesus may the authority of God rest upon your head that you will speak for him you will speak for him you will speak for him you will reach the person in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus you trust God the glory of the Lord upon the church from the blood of God and you will be a lead that will bring you right back I'd like you to know it will be answered. Lord, we pray. Stretch your hands and say, Lord, go ahead and let's pray. Lord, do mighty things. Solve problems. Bring impossible miracles. In the name of the Lord Jesus, 
as we make contact with these requests in the name of the Lord Jesus prophetically wipe the tears of many in the name of the Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus Rakata prokoto prokoto balaba. Rakata prakata 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 balaba. Rakata prakata 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 balaba. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray. Every prayer point here, let it be met. In the name of Jesus, Lord, release supernatural miracles for the sake of Your glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now lift your hands. I want to prophesy. This is the final thing I will go. Please, if you came here, now is the time for you to receive something. Please, don't go back the same. Hallelujah. Listen. See, the apostolic anointing is not just talk. Are you listening to me? The apostolic anointing is an office. Are you, are you listening to me? It's an office. It's not just apostle. This, no, 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 no. It's an office. No man works. The Bible says he gave on to some apostles. It's a position of authority. Are you listening to me? It's an office that is recognized in the spirit. It's, an elect, it's not an issue of prayer and fasting. It's an office. God gives us this office to open up doors for others. It's an election by grace. And if you believe it tonight, you will step into a level of blessing. Lift your hands. Lord, if I be a servant of God, truly called into this apostolic office, my God, confirm this anointing upon me. Once again, I invoke the anointing that was given upon me when Jesus appeared to me. My God and my King, let there be a performance. Doors be open. Doors be open. Doors be open. Doors be open. I challenge thrones. I challenge dominions. I challenge offices. I stand in the anointing of this office. I compel every closed door over your life. Over your academics, delay in marriage. I release you. I call your partner to come to you in the name of Jesus. I pray. I pray that the favor of God, for He has granted unto me by grace, my God and my King. I see it like water flowing from the ground. Let the favor of God sweep. Let it sweep across this congregation. Outside, I prophesy favor. I prophesy favor. I prophesy favor. If you can hear my voice, receive favor. Receive favor. In your academic favor. In your financial favor. In your relationship favor. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to prophesy speed upon your life. And that of your family members. In the name of Jesus. Before the next miracle service. I prophesy. Run with the spirit of Elijah. Supernatural accomplishment. Exploit. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Exploit, exploit, exploit. Hallelujah. I pray for every project, whether in your life or your family, building project, capital project, businesses, in the name of Jesus, God of heaven, the one who is at work in this place, I invoke by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let there be grace for completion. Receive it. Receive it. Outside, receive it. Outside, receive it. I pray for your academics. In the name 
that is above all names i want to release it upon you and if you will believe i release five points in the name of jesus i release it i release it i release first class in the name of the lord jesus supernatural intelligence every dull mind i command you be productive be intelligent every course you cannot understand go back and challenge it now in the name of the lord hallelujah i pray against habit masturbation pornography whatever it is if it's a habit that is not of god this moment you have prayed you have fasted you have done everything you know to do but i come under the anointing in this office i command be free in the name of jesus be free in the name of jesus hallelujah i pray all those who are trusting god for life partners and for marriage listen please if you are not trusting god better put your hand we are not playing here we are very very serious if you are trusting god for i don't mean people coming around first and foremost any guy roaming around your life just to mess up your life i pray that tonight god will open your eyes in the name of jesus may god expose destiny destroyers this night may god connect you with the will of god for your life i command supernatural marriages for you and your loved ones in the name of jesus i command any kind of terminal disease and i see this the lord is showing me ladies many diseases infection whatever it is i cause it now to its root in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah i pray for your finances my god and my king if your word is true between now and the next miracle service if it is the god of heaven we serve you will receive a call if it is a god if it is god that we serve may you receive a call that will shock you i prophesy it i program your spirit to receive it in the name of jesus i hear a call is a call is a call that's what god told me it's a supernatural call receive it in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah many of you who have been confused about your life especially men receive grace to sit down and be established in the name of jesus no more confusion the reason why you were born listen to me the reason why you were born between now and the next two weeks everyone here who does not know you are just roaming around the surface of the earth escorting men if god be god may the reason why you were born be revealed to you in dreams in visions by prophetic encounters by the revelation of the word in the name of jesus hallelujah finally i pray for you lift your hands there are certain anointings that god has put upon this house are you listening to me number one the presence of god i don't idolize this but it's true number two the favor of god the wisdom of god financial prosperity are you listening to me and such as we have my god and my king may it be released upon you now favor wisdom the presence of god the power of god the miraculous i activate the gift of the spirit now all across the building the gift of the spirit receive it gift of healing faith prophecy tongues interpretation of tongues i activate your spirit man visions visions i call for fivefold ministry fivefold offices 
Let the apostolic arise. Let the prophetic arise. Let the evangelistic arise. Let the pastoral arise. Let teaching graces arise. Ba ta 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 ta. Ra ba 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 ba. Boko topotia. Upon ladies, strange order of the prophetic. Strange order of the prophetic. Strange order. Strange order. Grace to see. Grace to hear. Grace to move in power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're rounding up. Please listen to me. In closing, all of you hear me inside and outside. Please listen. We're training people to be men and women of character. Are you listening to me? Not just anointing. It's not enough to have power. Those who are students, you must have character. This is the year you will demonstrate the character of the spirit. Be disciplined. Be dedicated. You can't be flying around. Every party cannot be it. Hallelujah. Your Christianity must bear fruit and everyone must witness it. Hallelujah. So as you leave this place, go and call all those people that cause you to walk in unrighteousness and let them know you have begun a new walk with God. I'm telling you, do it. Go and delete every ungodly song in your phone. Break all those CDs and kick it out of your house. You are either a Christian or you are not. Hallelujah. You are either a Christian or you are not. Say I'm a man or a woman of character. Yes. The character of the spirit must be at work in your life. Your conversation. You cannot be speaking as if you are not born again. And then when you come to church, you say, hallelujah, no. You must speak like a Christian. Are you listening to me? Say amen. amen. Inside and outside, say amen. amen. You must speak like a Christian. Hallelujah. You must act like a Christian. Act like Jesus is Lord of your life. Anything cannot be it. Be disciplined. You are a leader. And be humble. Say, I receive grace for humility. If you are an arrogant person in this place, I set you free from that spirit of arrogance. Be humble. Listen. Make sure by love you serve people. Are you listening to me? The greater one in the kingdom. Gone are the days of all these men of God. Ah, protocol for me. Uh -uh. The greater one is the one who can kneel down and serve. Are you listening to me? Take away that wrong mindset of ministry that has been given to people. Oh, you are the woman of God. You are the man of God. Bend down. Let your work speak for you. Let to wash the feet of others. Consider others better than yourself. Are you listening to me? Say I'm a Christian. If you are coming here for the first time, let me prophesy into your life. Please leave your seat and come out inside and outside. Appreciate them very quickly. Please come out here quickly. Come out here quickly. Please clap for them. They are coming. Ushers, lead them to come to the front. You are welcome. Give them a koinonia welcome. We'll soon be out of this place now. Hallelujah. Quickly, quickly. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, koinonia. Will you appreciate them? Hallelujah. 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 Please keep coming. We'll pray for you. I want to thank every one of you for coming. This is Koinonia. Hallelujah. Especially for many of you who came all the way. Thank you so much for coming. We appreciate you. We receive you. Hallelujah. We are happy. We are proud of you. We want to pray for you. That this will be the beginning of unusual hunger for God. That this will be the beginning of passion for the things of the spirit and that this will be the beginning of an unlimited life of breakthrough in the name of Jesus saints of God stretch your hands towards them as we pray we are praying for you may the Lord bless you we pray that God will make you better than you are in the name of Jesus for those of you who have been healed and touched I pray that your miracle will remain in the name of the Lord Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. 
check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline